Mi chiamo afura kanu afurait kaitnut. Ne ye ma o keru da. Me dinde kwesi ra nehem pata akan. Greetings to all afura kanu afurait kaitnut, meaning Africans, black people. Today is ma o keru day. My name is kwesi ra nehem pata akan. Slaves participate in the foolish so called holidays of the whites and their offspring. Only black, willing slaves, brainwashed slaves, contort definitions, concepts, meanings in order to justify their stupidity, in order to justify their idiocy. You betray your deeply seated and deeply seated self loathing, self denigration, learned self hatred every time you attempt to justify your foolish behavior. Willing black slave. No matter what title you have given yourself, you are despised by your Afura Kani, Afurai Kaitnit ancestresses and ancestors because you celebrate their maiming, torture, and mass murder over a feast every year in lockstep with your white so called slave master's children. What is called Thanksgiving is in truth a celebration by the whites and their offspring of their mass murder, maiming, torture, rape, and enslavement of Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, black people in the Western Hemisphere. Nothing more, nothing less. The whites and their offspring have celebrated our maiming, murder, torture, rape, enslavement, and disintegration for over 400 years. While our Nsamanfuo, our Afura Kani, Afurai Kaitnit ancestresses and ancestors, our direct blood relatives, our grandmothers and grandfathers, were enslaved on plantations. The whites and their offspring were celebrating this so called Thanksgiving holiday. When your great grandmother, as a young pregnant mother, was tied to a post and the white perverse beast cut her stomach open, allowed the baby, your relative, to fall out onto the ground and then stomp the baby to death in front of all of us, backed by the applause of the white females and children on the plantation. It was after murderous events like this that the whites would sit down and feast, giving thanks to their fake make believe God for being able to murder and enslave us. When your great grandfather had his genitals chopped off, in front of you, the white males and females, adults and children, feasted and celebrated. When the Afurakani Afurai Kaitni children on the plantations were raped by the whites, when the males were raped and the females were raped, the whites would feast and celebrate. When your grandmothers and grandfathers, as young men and young women, were shackled by the whites for attempting to escape, and their tongues were ripped out of their mouths. Their hands and feet were chopped off in front of all of the Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut on the plantation to teach us a quote unquote lesson. The whites feasted and celebrated. They gave thanks. They established a day of thanksgiving to honor these events, and they celebrated. We would be in the slave quarters as the whites feasted, drank, danced and sang. We would be in the slave quarters mourning the murder of the Afurakani baby and the Afurai Kaitnit mother who bled to death, empathizing with our people who were dismembered, raped and castrated. Those of us who were intelligent not only mourned and pondered but planned and then put into action revolution and effected resolution. We killed the white so-called slave master. We killed his wife. We killed his children. We killed his staff. We freed ourselves from the enslavement. We left and set up independent sovereign nations away from the plantations, returning only to burn down the plantations when we had a chance. However, the intelligent Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, never forgot who this white enemy was and is. But today, as your so-called slave master feasts once again every year, giving thanks to his and her fake make-believe God for being able to slaughter 
and enslave Apura Kanu, Apurai Kaitnu with the drugs, diseases, prisons, and open warfare in America. Apura Ka, Apurai Kaet, and everywhere we are found in the world, you willing slaves sit in the slave quarters feasting with them. The whites and their offspring just murdered your baby and you're sitting down feasting. They maim you with genetically modified foods and you're sitting down feasting. They murder us with manufactured diseases and you're feasting. They brainwash you into murdering millions of your own unborn children via abortion and you're feasting. The whites and their offspring continue to flood our community non-stop day after day with crack cocaine, heroin, marijuana, alcohol, cigarettes, cigars, and you're sitting down as a damn self-hating slave, feasting. The whites and their offspring murder you daily and contract you out to murder yourself and your own, yet you continue to sit down with them and feast. You enrich them by purchasing their holiday products and celebrate your own genocide at the same time. You betray your own stupidity by making excuses about why you come together on such days. You look for pseudo-spiritual reasons to justify your deeply ingrained self-hatred and ignorance. The absolute truth is that you have never stopped hating yourself since you were first taught to do so on the plantation. You have reincarnated in this era and refused to eradicate the white cultural influences on your spirit. You are insane. Self-destructive behavior is a manifestation of insanity. You are self-destructive. You are destructive to yourself in particular and destructive to the Apurakani, Apuraikaitni self in general. You perpetuate ignorance through your actions. You therefore maintain the status quo. And that status quo is disorder. You uphold self-destruction. You are insane. Some of you Negroes will claim that this is the only time you have off of work to foolishly justify your self-destructive embracing of Thanksgiving. You claim that this is the only time that we have to get together with our families. You willing slaves refuse to embrace the reality that there are 365 days of the year to get together with your families. When you plan a family reunion, you don't care about the calendar. You schedule your own day off and make time for your family. You call in sick. You do what you have to do. Stop lying to yourself and those of us who are conscious enough to see through it. You participate in the celebration of the genocide of our people because you have never relinquished the self-hatred imposed upon you by whites. Yet you are embarrassed by your idiocy and self-destructive behavior. So you put forward excuse after foolish excuse. So-called black nationalists, pan-Africanists, practitioners of African religions, quote-unquote conscious Africans, dressed in traditional clothing, performing, performing libation prayers in Chui, Eve, or Yoruba, sitting around a damn table eating turkey while your Nsamanfo, your ancestresses and ancestors have never been appeased. You are insane hypocrites engaged in the highest level of insane hypocrisy. Many of you willing slaves fought for the creation of a day to celebrate the misguided so-called leader, Martin Luther King. Of course, the whites and their offspring gave you the day, for they desire that you honor stupidity, subservience, and acquiescence to a fake God, and the foolishness of nonviolence and integration. This so-called holiday you fought for is always on a three-day weekend. If the whites told you to come to work on that day, you would refuse. Yet they don't see you coming together as a family on that weekend to feast. Why? Because the whites and their offspring didn't tell you to come together on that weekend and feast. If they did, you would do it. Because you are a willing slave. However, they did not. So you do not. You are so full of excuses for your actions. Yet if the reason why you celebrated the so-called Thanksgiving holiday was simply because you were off of work 
and nothing more. Then move your celebration to Martin Luther King's so-called birthday. If you are so dead set on celebrating a holiday around the winter season, like a cave-dwelling northern European, then you have a winter holiday to celebrate. If Thanksgiving as a holiday is purely semantics as you claim, and you are not attached to the last Thursday in their month of November as you claim, then stop celebrating it immediately. There is less congestion at the airports, train stations, bus stations in their month of January. The cost of travel is cheaper. Logistically, it is intelligent to make the move. If your observance of the white holiday is truly only about time off with relatives, then flip the script. Instead of doing nothing on Martin Luther King's so-called birthday and feasting during their November celebration of your own genocide, do nothing in November and feast in January. Prove to yourself that your observance of Thanksgiving holds no true value for you. This would be intelligent for your mindset. The willing slave will do no such thing. He or she will continue to find an excuse for perpetuating his and her own enslavement. For by definition, he or she is incapable of acting naturally in the interest of him or herself. However, the Afurakani Afurai Kaitnit individual loves freedom. Afurakani Afurai Kaitnit people, conscious, aware, normal, Black people do not participate in any white so-called holiday, not at any time of the year, in any way, or for any reason whatsoever. Once Afurakanu Afurai Kaitnu find out the truth, we embrace the truth and incorporate it into our lives. This is normal. This is sane. When we find that we have made a mistake and someone exposes us to the truth, to reality, we embrace reality gladly. This is normal. This is natural. This is sane. We do not reject reality, for to reject reality is to distance ourselves from sanity. The Nananom Nsamanfo, the Egungun, the Kuvita, the Mmuo, the Abosom, the Orisha, the Vodou, the Arusi, are spiritually cultivated ancestresses and ancestors, and the goddesses and gods despise so-called thanksgiving. They despise Christmas. They despise the false positioning of New Year's Day on January 1st. They despise all of the observances of the whites and their offspring because they despise disorder. They hate disorder. The Abosom, Orisha, the Nananum Nsamanfo, the Egungun, are the divine embodiments and upholders of Nyame wa Nyame Nsheshe, divine order, and they have divine hate for anything or anyone that promotes that which is in conflict with divine order. Akomfuo, Abosomfuo, Babalaos, Olorishas, Dibias, Mamisis, Hungans, Bokonons, Sangomas, initiated Afurakani priests and Afurite Kaitnit priestesses, Mpanyimfo, purported elders and eldresses, stop lying to the members of the Bosomfie, the Ile, the shrine houses, the Afurakani Afurite Kaitnit masses. You are being exposed for the lies you perpetuate in the name of the Afurakani Afurite Kaitnit ancestral religion. Stop telling Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut what you think they want to hear so that they will continue to be part of your group and continue to patronize your so-called business. Tell the truth. Introduce Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut to the true holy days, sacred ritual observances that have functionality, that have value, those observances that we carried over from Afura Ka, Afurai Kaet, as well as those observances that we have created since we have been in America, observances that speak to our unique experiences here in the West, observances which carry the sanction of the Abosom and Nananom Nsamanfo. You who are misguided initiates and misguided so-called elders and eldresses, stop being spineless. Stand up 
and declare that our Afurakani Afurai Kaitnid ritual observances are the only observances that have value and are the only ones that are to be upheld in the lives of Afurakanu Afurai Kaitnut. Stop operating as the slave master's overseer, foolishly scheduling the slaves' Thanksgiving celebrations at your Ile or your Boson Fie and passing them off as ancestral observances. You are liars and cultural criminals. How many decades, how many generations do you desire to pass before you believe our people will be ready to reject the whites and their offspring, their culture, and their fake religions? Wake up! Our people are ready now. Our people have always been ready. There is no statute of limitations on truth. You can either become part of the process of Afura Kani Afurai Kaitnit reconstitution, or you can be run over in the process. Our people are ready now. Our people are waking up all over the world now. The only thing capable of slowing down our advancement is the chains we attempt to pick up and carry with us. But those shackles are being broken as we speak. If you want them, keep them and hang yourself with them. Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut. True Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut. Have no need for them. Millions of Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, young and old, who have been participating in white holidays all of their lives, have stopped the practice immediately upon hearing the truth and embracing Nyamewa Nyame Nsheshe, divine order as a result. Their experiences are always positive. They are overjoyed that they will never again participate in the celebration of our physical and cultural genocide in lockstep with the whites and their offspring all over the country. They are overjoyed that they will no longer lie to themselves or their children about why white people and black people are quote unquote giving thanks for the same things on the same day. Yet whites continue to be in control while we continue to appear under their control. They are overjoyed that their children have a grounded sense of pride because they have now reclaimed an ancestral ritual tradition that is their own based on our culture, our experiences, our true relationship to the Abosom and Nananum Nsamanfo. When Afura Kani, Afurai Kaitni embrace reality, Joy and spiritual health is the instantaneous and forever lasting result. Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, have no fear or angst when rejecting the idiocy of white pseudo holidays such as Thanksgiving. Ritualize the remembrance of your Nananom Nsamanfo. Remember what we have gone through and continue to go through. Focus on your own Akra. Focus on the Abosom. Focus on Nyamewa Nyame Nsheshe, divine order. Recognize the whites and their offspring, our absolute enemies and their foolish ill culture of disorder for what it is and will always be until they are made extinct. Never ever compromise your values, for your values are expressions of your Nkrabea, the divine function you were given to execute in the world by Nyamewa Nyame, the Supreme Being. Your values and the values of Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, reflect our very purpose for living. Re establish Afura Kani, Afurai Kaitnut ancestral observances for the ritual reinforcement of these values. Do not bend when those Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, who are related to you, or connected to you attempt through their enslaved mindset to force you to reject reality. They are engaged in an insane endeavor, but you are not insane. They will now have to adjust to reality because you have adjusted to reality. Refuse to observe, celebrate, or acknowledge the idiocy of thanksgiving or any white so-called holiday, not simply to make a statement, but because it is insane to do otherwise. You cannot claim to be Afurakani, Afurai Kaitnit, claim to be intelligent and function as a fool at the same time. When a tuning fork is made to vibrate and is placed in close proximity to another tuning fork, the second tuning fork will begin to vibrate as well. 
when we as Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, embrace our own Amanye, our own ancestral ritual practices, other Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut will be stimulated to embrace our ancestral ritual practices as well. Our spirits will awaken theirs. Our vibration will stimulate them to vibrate, to move, to awaken. And this is natural. The enslaved individual will attempt to use this analogy to prove that he or she should participate in Thanksgiving and other white holidays in order to show our people a new way. Such foolish rationalizations betray the great degree to which the enslaved individual has been corrupted. The reality is that such rationalizations bespeak a hidden desire to continue to participate in the slave holiday at all costs. If you truly want to show someone a new way, bring them into a new environment, your environment, on your ritual day, and expose them fully to our culture, their culture. Show them by not showing up when they engage in the practice of celebrating our physical and cultural genocide every year. Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, do not respect stupidity. We do not respect idiocy. We do not acquiesce to foolishness. We do not compromise no quare, truth. We do not respect nor embrace the whites and their offspring, their culture, their false religions, nor their foolish holidays. We do not respect nor embrace this disorder, even when it manifests through the misguided behavior and warped beliefs of enslaved, immature Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, young nor old. Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, celebrate yourself. Celebrate your Nananom Nsamanfo. Celebrate the Abosom. Honor your Nkrabea, your life focus. Embrace reality, and you will consciously connect with millions of Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut around the world who are engaged in the same process. The war against the whites and their offspring is waged on all fronts, at all times. The ritual reinforcement of values through the acknowledgement of sacred days and sacred traditions is a front that Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut cannot neglect. Sankofa Medin de Kwesi Ra Nehempata Akan Ine Ye Ma Keru Da.